What are the keys to their life and a colorful destiny in Christ? One, have a heart for God. No one with a heart for God without making a mark on the earth. David, a man after God's own heart, we saw how much mark he made. Jesus came through his lineage. Jesus holding the key of David in heaven. You can't have a heart for God and make remarkable marks on the earth. For eyes have not seen or ears heard what God has in store for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 9. To realize our glorious destiny, we must possess a heart for God in truth and in deed. Possess a heart for God. Number two, have a thirst for the world. Have a thirst for the world. Oh, everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters. Isaiah 55, verse 1. And that has no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. And he said in verse 10, so shall my word be. So a thirst for the world is required to maximize or realize our destiny in Christ. A thirst for the world. Why? Every of our inheritance is transmitted through the world. I commend you to God and to the world who is great with you to build you up, do your own inheritance among them that are sanctified at 2032. So we this. We locate our inheritance. We are allotted our inheritance through the world. We are allotted our inheritance through the world. We are allotted our inheritance through the world. Again, Second Corinthians, I mean Second Peter 1 3, according to his divine power, he's given us all things, all things that make for life and godliness through the knowledge of him. So we assess all things that pertain to us through the knowledge of him. Have a thirst for the world. I'm trading nothing but the secrets of the world revealed to me. And it's working like fire. It's working like fire. It's working like fire. It's working like fire. I saw my prosperity in clearest terms before I had the first bank account. <laughs> I saw me list among the richest. In fact, I declared, I'm not only going to prosper, I'll be the most prosperous. You, you can't locate your inheritance and shy from it. Now, what? Revelation is not about knowing what God has provided, but knowing what it takes to take delivery. <laughs> Information is not what God has provided. Revelation is knowing what it takes to take delivery. Men of bread, what shall we do? We belong to a great kingdom, sir. You don't know what to do. You are just going to be at the same spot forever. You can't wish or change your position. You must know what to do to change position. Hear what he said, Daniel 11, 32. Those who do wickedly against the covenant will end up as mockeries. But those who do know the covenants of their God, they shall be strong and they shall do what? Exploits. Oh. A task for the world. Now listen, I said to God, now you call me to ministry, to go to full-time ministry, who will pay me? I began searching. Then I stumbled on it. After this, I appointed 70 others also. You are in my employment. And then he went on, the liberalized order of his wages, stay on duty, I'm responsible. Two words. I've never missed my pay once. You know why I know? I've never begged once. You know why I know? I've never taken over draft once. You know why I know? I've never borrowed a cube of sugar from a neighbor once. A make a to a randy. It's not all oh, this flamboyant revelation they're carrying about. It's not revelation. Sir. They are mere stories. Revelation is knowing what God says is available and how to obtain it. Knowing what it takes, you must know the covenants of God. 
to expect change of position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He told me what to do to grow the church. Engage in prayer and fasting. Break off the hold of the enemy. Two, go out and tell them, come and see. And we are doing that. Yes. So we went out yesterday and Thursday, 18,000 people reached out for Christ. Now, keep sowing the seed, the word of God. That's what I'm doing. Yes. I won't tell you when I slept this morning. I was preparing for you and for me. Praise God. <laughs> And as the grass grows, the sheep will come for it. And keep the grass green and the sheep will get Covenant, covenant. Revelation is about covenant. A, a, an unveiling of God's covenant on any subject matter. Those four kids will grow church in the desert. Can I tell you what? These prevailing economic conditions has no right on your life has no right on your life. <laughs> because we are entitled access to its riches in glory. It's of this planet. It's not part of what they do here. <laughs> he told the rich, he said, don't be high minded. A time is coming when nothing will be happening here. You need to assess the treasures in heaven. Come on now. How hard is the economy on this church? Zero. Forever. If they like limited, naira, 5,000 naira to one dollar, it doesn't matter. Riches in glory, inexhaustible. In that day when I make up my jewels, they shall be mine. You walk in the covenant, you can't, you, can't, you can't feel it. You can't feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. So don't join them Say anybody, everybody who claims it's not feeling this is a liar. Okay. So God is a liar. Thank you. They are to be born like an oven. But them that fear my name, I will distinguish them. They'll be growing up where everything is burning down. That's what God is talking about. But there is what to do to be there. You keep serving God with your means, genuinely, willingly, joyfully. When the day comes, He distinguishes you. We we'll frustrate the devil. We shall frustrate the devil. We shall frustrate the devil. As we learn with God's covenant, forget Him. He has no hold on your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right, that was a very powerful video by Bishop David Oedipo. You're welcome to the commentary section of this video where we'll make powerful analysis about what the preacher was talking about. So basically, this video is just talking about um, the economical challenges people face in the country right now and how God has already told us that we are going to come out of those challenges so i want everyone who is a believer to understand that challenges are not new they have been prophesied in the scriptures and they are going to be here so everyone who is a believer needs to take cover in this kingdom if you want those challenges to be exempted in your life now they might be complaining in the world that they are challenged, they are facing economic issues, they are facing security threats, they are facing health challenges, but for people who are in the covenant, people who act on the covenant, they will not see these challenges. So it is very important as a believer, you need to start acting on the covenant. It is people who act on the covenant that see results. There is one thing that you must know. People who work according to the covenant that see results. So, they are setting different covenants for different purposes. If it's that for financial prosperity, you must work towards financial prosperity. And you must be a titan and giver. If you want to have good health, 
there are things to do in this kingdom to have good health. There are a lot of principles in this kingdom that every believer must obey if you're going to enjoy the dividends in this kingdom. So I pray for every one of us that as we come together and work things out rightly, we would not feel the heat of this earth in the name of Jesus. So I'm sure you're blessed by this powerful video. Please take your time, watch the video again, take your time, like the video, comment if you are blessed, reach out and also subscribe. God bless you and have a great time.